Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Rune Factory 5 where we are just going to head outside and to the task board and get our cooking quest completed and see what's new there. So now that we've completed the cooking quest, what other quest can we take? Also, we are running a little low on money, so I guess we could sell some things, like some of the pickled turnips we've made, for example. One. Oops, not that. Um. There. I guess we could though. Huh. Two. One. Two. Three. Oh, I guess these ones huh. that are before the potions One, are the ones two. we've just made. So we can just go ahead and sell all of these. We'll still have a few left to eat, just in case we need them. And I think that was it. Now we should have a little bit more money tomorrow. Wow! You're a natural cook, Hazel. Maybe I should ask you to help out at the restaurant sometimes. Flour and rice flour. Yes! Got it. Now, a new quest. Buy a forge. Catch a wanted monster. Oh, those are the ones we've had there for a while. Uh, defeat monsters, ruby teas, question mark reward. I'm going to buy a forge soon anyway. Martin told me that you showed some promise when it came to smithing. So how about you grab a forge and start making your own tools? You'll feel more attached to your tools if you've made them yourself. You can even add your own personal touches. First, you will need to make a directive so that you can get your forging license. And then, you need to buy a forge from Studio Palmo. We already have the license taken care of. But we don't quite have enough material stone or money to buy that forge. So let's gather some herbs and other ingredients that we can find and uh, try to make some money by making and selling things. So medicines and uh, cooked stuffs are some things we can make and sell. So herbs, vegetables, fish, things like that will be nice for us. I realized that I've never been out this way. So let's see where this takes us and, and uh, whether we can forage anything nice there. Lake Yumina, Kelv Volcanic Region. Lake Yumina sounds more peaceful. So let's take a look here first. Recommended level 35. Well, that's the grasslands ahead though. Um, but I guess if 
the recommended level for that is 35, then Lake Yumina must be way above our level too. Our level is only 16, so we'll see about this volcanic region then. If um, if this is more our speed, others. Take that. They yes. are black woolies. I've never seen black woolies before. Once we start taming monsters, we need to have one of every color of woolly. Obviously, so white, pink, and black. There's a potion and some sort of an armor vest. Spiders. Wonder if they'll drop spider silk. These ones did not drop anything. Let's look around a little. I see some blue grass here. And a rune flower. That'll give us some of our RP back. Right, let's continue on this path. A slime. Yeah. Too slow. All right. I dropped bronze. Yeah. And a now. shadow panther. New kinds of enemies here, huh? More black woolies. Also a chest. Uh, right there. A steel sword. We'll investigate that later. For now though, I kind of want to see what sorts of fish live in this water. Also, gather these herbs. Let's fish a little. See if we can find anything... Anything that's worth a lot of money. And or anything there. we can cook something out of. Easy does it. We do have a few sashimi recipes of different kinds. And I think we have some salted fish recipes too. Now! Pike. I think we have a recipe for pike of some kind. There. A flounder All right. and a fishing level up. Let's there. see. Easy does it. Wait a little bit and see if anything's going to come for this. Is that big fish? No, a smaller one now. spawned. Yeah. A boot. 
Wonder if that can be used for anything. Or is it just trash? Okay, let's catch Oops. a big one. That did not go where I thought it would. Yeah, nothing's coming this way. Uh, let's find us a better spot. We'll have to head home in a couple of in-game hours so that we won't miss our chance to give a gift to the birthday boy, Cecil. Hopefully we can locate him on the map. You're mine. Salmon. That's new as well. I think and uh, if I'm not if there! I'm not entirely wrong I think we have okay, a recipe a for salmon too hmm everything seems to be swimming right past oh no that one is coming let's see what it is Needlefish. So I guess we could come here to fish every now and then. Easy does it. Also the um the fishing spot near the place where we found the goblin archer that had the bounty on it. That fishing spot seemed quite good as well. We'll need to do a spot more fishing now and then. Especially now that we have all those sashimi recipes. Yeah, we'll be able to make use of those and and uh, make some money too. Let's cast like one or two more times and then then get going home. Try and find Cecil on the map and give him something for his birthday. Ah, there the fish are. They are just a different color like Easy, does it? The, um, a little bit ago the shadows were dark and now they are light. So that was a bit confusing. The fish shapes suddenly becoming light instead of dark in the water. Now! Can. The smallest can that we've ever caught. Um, nice? Maybe? There. Well, it was a record. Does it? Is that one coming? No, it just turned and swam away. Is anything come? Yeah, that one is. Girella, the smallest one we've ever caught. I think it's about time to go back home and um, see if we can find Cecil. Well, maybe first see if um, if we can make something out of all this fish we've caught. So let's have some pickled turnip and see what recipes we can make. Time to eat. The knife first because I know we have some sashimi recipes. Yeah, pike and salmon. 
Let's make the pike sashimi too. The salmon sashimi will sell because it'll get us 100 monies. But the pike sashimi, I think we'll eat ourselves. When the, uh, when the occasion is right. And that was that for the sashimi. What about the frying pan? Anything we can make here? Uh, no. Well, what about... I don't think the blender is <laughs> going to be a thing. Baked onigiri. Ah, uh, yeah, sweet potato requires actual sweet potatoes. Thought it might. Let's make a couple of these. And some bread. Nice. Sells for a nice price too. I think I'll want to make it into toast though, but I'll need I'll need some more cooking levels before I can do that. Let's make some more recovery potions then. Nice. Some of the, uh, well, actually we're out of RP. Let's just put some things in the fridge. The bread I want to save to use for toast making. The rice flour. Let's see. Well, actually, I think the flounder. Yeah, it sells for 190. And I really need money, so I'll sell it. This only sells for 30. And this for 45. We'll save those for cooking purposes. And uh, maybe we could wear this vest. Yeah. It's better than just a shirt. Let's sell some things and then go find Cecil. We'll give him something for his birthday. Sell this flounder. Let's once again do the thing where we also level up our throwing skill at the same time or get X for our throwing skill. Antidote potion. The recovery potion stacks would sell for a Nice bit too. Hmm. One, two. Hup. One, two. And I think that may have been it. The bronze would sell for like a hundred, but. I think it could be useful for there. crafting or forging. Oops, wrong button. Just meant to disengage the lock on. Let's gather these. 
before we get going anywhere. Yellow grass, that's a new one. So, is Cecil here? No, he's not. Nobody is. Oops, wrong door. Let's go outside and take a look at the map. See where he is then, if not home. He is at the restaurant. Okay, let's go there. Catch him before he leaves. We'll give him like a recovery potion or something. It's not going to be a loved gift. But... I think it'll have some sort of a beneficial effect. Hello Cecil. Happy birthday. Evening Hazel. Guess what? I heard that Beatrice and Reinhardt are going to live in the ruins. There's apparently a reason why they chose that particular location, but I haven't figured it out yet. I think there's a mystery of it. Here, have a potion. Hey, <laughs> thanks! It makes me so happy that you want to celebrate my birthday with me. Reinhard? Oh, you like bread? Well, as soon as I get into making some more regularly, I we'll offer see. you my sincerest thanks. Um... For not divulging Lady Beatrice's true identity to anyone. Oh, that. Well, I'm definitely not gonna go around telling people something like that. I see. It's just as Captain Livia said. You are indeed a trustworthy in the individual. You don't strike me as the sort of person to harbour hidden agenda, and I confess that it gives me a rather favourable impression of you. Geez, I really don't think I did anything that praiseworthy. Thank heavens! How fortunate that you were the one present. My lady and I hope to continue a fruitful relationship with you. Yes! Right. Enjoy your evening, gentlemen. Hmm, Lady Beatrice. I guess we could give her a potion too. Greetings, Hazel. How are you faring today? Oh, hey, Lady... I mean, Miss... Your Highness? <laughs> There's no need for such formality. We're the same age, after all, and fast friends, no less. Hmm. True, but I feel kind of nervous now that I know you're a princess. <laughs> Say, here's an idea. Perhaps I'll model my behavior after Priscilla and Lucy. Yeah. Time to pinch those squishy cheeks. <gasps> Whoa, hey, you're a little close there. Oh? Miss Lady Beatrice, ma'am, I don't know what things were like in the capital, but folks around here might think that was a bit over familiar. People normally like to maintain a little personal space. Gracious, is that so? How embarrassing. I've never had any friends before, you see. When it comes to social norms, I'm rather out of my depth. Ah. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> Nevertheless, having acquaintances like you and Priscilla to learn from is most reassuring. Then I'll do whatever I can to help you acclimate. Goodness! 
Do you truly mean that? I would be utterly delighted if you did. She's never had a friend? Being royalty sounds rough. Wow. Well, have a potion. I guess my work here is done. And yay, mission accomplished. Got to see birthday boy before the day was over and uh, give him something. Now, let's see. We have some RP again. We could uh, try and see if if we can make anything out of those potatoes we've got. And we could also get some more material stone and whatever this is. All right. Iron. Yes. I don't remember exactly how much material right. stone was needed for the forge, but I do think we need more than we've got. Nice. So, let's get all we can from nice. here. Nice. We'll put them away. That's a bit better than it was, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Oops. Let's do some cooking. Hmm. Maybe the oven? Baked potatoes could be a thing. So don't use a recipe and... Let's see. Potatoes. Huh, only 10 RP. That's going to be a failed dish, I think. The blender does not sound like a thing you'd put potatoes in. Frying pan? Hmm. Just 10 RP. Another failed dish, probably. What about the knife? Or cutting board? Uh, probably another failed dish. Huh. I guess we'll have to wait till we get a recipe for potatoes. Hmm. Well, let's put some things away. We have a lot of herbs. Oops, those I actually want to keep in my inventory. Yeah, we've got a lot of herbs here. Some metals. Oops, didn't mean to put the watering can away. Let's find it. There it is. Yeah, that belongs in the inventory. Like so. All right. Hmm. Let's put the weeds in here. And... Uh, huh.
Hmm. Maybe we could make some recovery potions to sell, right? They do sell for 19 a piece. And we have lots of materials to make them out of. Just trying to make sure that we'll have the money to buy the forge with. Hopefully we'll also find enough material stone tomorrow to do that. I don't remember the exact cost in material stone, as I said, but hopefully we'll find some tomorrow. Let's just make as many recovery potions as we can so that we can sell a stack or two. Eat Time that eat. and make more recovery potions. It's too bad that this bluegrass recovery potion recipe uses so much RP. I guess it does also give us more X. Like a lot more X than the other recipe. Right, those have been made. Let's go sell some. We'll leave some to give us gifts, but we'll sell some of these. Maybe we'll sell like most of them or almost all of them and I'm sure that as we wake up in the morning, we'll have lots of RP to make more recovery potions with. Yeah, we'll do that. Hopefully, that'll get us quite a bit of money. And, um, I guess it's time to save here. So, thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, Please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.